Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Netflix is exploding and they're betting on exploding kittens to mm -hmm. save them. Yeah, Netflix stock is way down. Their their uh, subscribers are way down. They've lost subscribers. They they're gonna lose like two million yeah, more. Yeah, they're anticipating two million more loss. It lost next quarter. And uh, we knew that Netflix was going to get into video games. Now, when they said Netflix was going to get into video games, I'm thinking, oh, they're going to do like AAA titles. They're really going to bring it. Uh, no, they're going to do mobile games, casual games, including Exploding Kittens, which is a fine card game. But this isn't going to save Netflix. No. This is this is really desperate. Like this is, I mean, they used to have shitty little mobile games on TVs. Like you buy a smart TV and they would have a bunch of like cheesy little mobile games. And then they eventually gave up on that. And the Amazon Fire Stick used to have cheesy mobile games. I remember that, yeah. And they gave up on that and they went to the Luna, which is like streaming games. Google gave up on uh, Stadia. You know, this is not gonna work. No. And then they're probably banking on the fact you have to buy the controller. Yes. To raise the prices. I'm sure it's DLC'd. Oh, I'm sure. You know, so now they're gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna save Netflix, guys. Ooh. Mobile games are going to save Netflix. You cannot make this up. This is this is like holy hell. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this, man. Even Kotaku is like, what are you thinking, Netflix? Yeah, know, right? What are you thinking? Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred sixty-five thousand subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk a little bit about video games. We do. Uh, gaming on Clownfish Gaming. If you go to Clownfish Studios channel on YouTube, that's our second channel. We're almost at 20,000 subs. Are we now. really? Yeah. Yay, go subscribe, please. Yeah, go subscribe to that. You can see a lot more of Pinky Boo and, and Triscuit Squid King over there. Yes. And they are hilarious. Yeah, they. we just have fun over there. We don't talk about this, this kind of stuff. We try not to, because it's mostly for fun. Um, yeah, but here it is, guys. Netflix uh, cratered. The stock has cratered. And uh, now they're going to jack their prices. They're going to go after people sharing passwords, and they're going to go after... The mobile game market. Yeah, because that's that's gonna that's gonna work. That's that's exactly why people subscribe to Netflix. Because it's not like you can't play mobile games every freaking where else everywhere. Are you supposed to get these games with your subscription? I believe so. Or are they gonna add on like, oh, now you've got Netflix games, which is next year ten dollars a month. I don't know. So I'm saying if they give it to you with a subscri subscription, people might buy the controllers and things. But if they're gonna be like upcharged, people are gonna be like, hell no. So anyway, the Washington Post, I guess, reported that they're going to commit hard to games. They're going to commit hard. Oh, yay. And you're thinking, okay, they're going to bring it with Triple Eight. No. <laughs> Netflix lost 200,000 subs in the first three months of the year. Uh, they're saying another 2 million next quarter. The company's biggest drop in 20 years. Uh, the Post spoke to a source familiar with the company's thinking, reporting that uh, Netflix plans to make 50 games available before the end of the year. Among the crop is a mobile game based on exploding kittens. So wait, they're going to put all this stuff, 50 games, and the one they pull out is Exploding Kittens. So what are the other ones? I don't, that's the one they're hoping to grab people with. Prob probably Stranger Things. They have a Stranger Things they mobile game. They did before, yeah. 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 Uh, so it's a popular, somewhat sadistic card game about kittens who explode that may or may not involve alcohol, depending on who you play with. Netflix will also produce a show. Uh, uh, Exploding Kittens is a show. So oh, wait, my God. This is worse than Disney. Oh, my God. They're going to out Disney Disney. Exploding Kittens, the show. Oh, my God. This I, I keep thinking this is... Okay, do you remember the movie Cat's Eye? Did you ever watch, watch no. Stephen King? No. Cat's Eye I was, know what it is, but I didn't watch it. Okay, so it was an anthology, and they had the... The one was a... Uh, uh, to help people quit smoking, they basically would would kidnap your uh, loved ones and put them in a cage and, and like, uh, cook their feet with shocks in the cage, and they put the cat in the cage to get people to stop smoking. Like, stop smoking, or we're going to fry your cat. Is that what they're going to do? Like... Win the game or we're going to blow the cat up on Netflix. I don't Netflix. think they're going to do, do We're going to squid game the cat. I don't think they're going to do that. But wait, so they're going to make this game because they're going to produce a show about it. Yes. How do you make a show out of exploding? I do not know. I don't know if I want to know. You're not going to make a good one. Uh, Netflix's foray in the video games has been about licensing IP for Arcane and League of Legends. But of course, now we don't know where that is because they're, they're cutting way back. So they're cutting way back on animation. Uh, now, yeah. and I've noticed uh, just a side tangent here, the normal outlets that talk about every damn thing that Netflix does in animation was, they were suspiciously silent when Netflix 
cut a bunch of shows, yeah. and fired a bunch of people. I just thought it was very weird. We had outlets that normally don't cover animation covering it because it was Netflix news. But they weren't like, yeah, by the way, uh, Netflix animation just completely imploded, exploded like kittens. Mm-hmm. And uh, they weren't talking about it. Well, they weren't. They weren't brewing the news. They weren't, and uh, I was kind of disappointed. Maybe, maybe they have now, but it, it, several days went by, and I hadn't seen anything there. Anyway, um, they talk about Castlevania ra- wrapping up. Uh, yeah, because Warren Ellis, there, there was some drama there. Uh, there's another series on the way. They talk about The Witcher. They talk about Dota. They're, oh, they're gonna probably what they gonna do? Like, well, there already is a Witcher game. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to the Witcher the mobile game? Witcher the mobile game. Netflix has followed in the footsteps of the video game industry's biggest trend du jour, wholesale acquisition of smaller companies. They have been buying, yeah, buying up stuff. They bought uh, Oxenfree developer Night School Studios. I have never played Oxenfree. I have no idea. I did know they bought a couple gaming developers. I saw the news about it, but I didn't think it was, it was before all the, the you know, the stock plummeted and everything. They'll, they'll just run them into the ground is what they'll do. Uh, obviously, the streaming giant's plans for a major push in the games were set in motion well before Lost right, Speakers were, were posted. So I have to wonder. We talked about it before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did. But I have to wonder, are they going to walk it back? You know, um, I don't know. The declining subscriber figures can be chalked up to a number of factors, including the still ongoing pandemic and proliferation of streaming services. I don't think that's the only reason. The message here is clear. There's a shit ton of money in games. And the non-gaming tech giants are starting to wise up to it. You know, other people have tried to get into the game with games and they failed miserably. And I'm sorry, I don't think Netflix is going to do well at it. I don't think so either. And I just don't understand how this is going to net them subscribers and money. Sure, if, if they make it as part of your subscription, they might get some people. But it's not going to be enough. And then you have to buy the controller. And then I'm like, it's going to have to be DLC type stuff or you're going to have to pay for it. I can't think they're just going to roll it in. They're like, yeah, um, with the amount of competition in the streaming market, you need to price competitively yes. and charging more than all your competitors while the majority of your original content is mediocre. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, $20 plus for the ultra tier, unacceptable. Disney Plus is already looking to raise prices. It's not going to, it's going to happen with all of them. Oh, That's great. True. 100%. That's true. But it's it's not just that. They're going to use games as a reason to upcharge again. And they're going to be shitty games. I guarantee you they're going to be shitty Mobile games. And oh, that's, I'm sure. That's what they're going to do. They're trying to Angry Birds their way out of it. Yeah, pretty much. They're going to Angry Birds their way out of it. And it's going to go like Flappy Bird, I think. And they're just going to land with a thud. Um, Netflix are the masters of having a shit-ass cheaper plan that doesn't work for anybody. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a bad idea. I think it's a terrible idea. And I have to wonder, though. I mean, they brought up, you know, the fact that uh, they're losing money. And they just, I mean almost immediately gutted the animation division. Mm-hmm. I have to wonder if they're going to look at games and be like, you know what? Maybe we want to hold off on that because it's pretty dicey. We don't know if it's going to bring anything to the table. Well, they already bought these companies and they're saying they're going, well, the, the, the source is saying they're going to go hard in games. I'm like, what do people like to do besides watching streaming shows? Play games. Good luck with that. I'm waiting for like Netflix and stuff to start going all, um, start going all Ready Player One with it. And then you'll start seeing ads in the screen while you're playing your games. And then you get so much of the screen covered before people go into seizures or whatever it was. <laughs> so I'm actually waiting for them. And I'm, I'm serious. I'm actually waiting for them to go YouTube on things or go Twitch on things and be like, why pay for content when our audience can make their own content? Well, and then we can did. charge people to watch that. But now we're going to compete against YouTube. Yeah. Now we're going to compete against YouTube. They'll have like the new edition. It'll be Netflix Plus or NetTube. Well, or... NetTube. <laughs> you know what we'll do is we'll, we'll compete with OnlyFans and we'll call it NetFucks. There you go. There you go. There you... No. I don't know. Netflix, Beanflix. Not Flix. Netflix. Oh, and Beanflix is good too. Just call Beanflix. it Flix. Flix. Get your you know, then you're then flex. you're not you're not being gender specific or you know you're not go. you're not you know shaming anyone just flicks. Yeah, we, you can you can stream all the all the streaming content you want, and you can make your own stream, and you might even stream watching the streams. We don't know what's gonna happen. So you know, then they'll they'll upcharge for that. They'll upcharge. They'll they'll charge. Yeah, they will. And they'll do a profit share like a. Do you like want to do a, it all while I play exploding kittens? Even better for them. I mean, that might be not be the only pussy that explodes when you watch these streams. We don't. Why know. do you always have to take it there? Because the cats are exploding, uh-huh. like grapes. Okay, 
Are we wrapping this up now? I, I think we are way past yes. uh, time to, to wrap this up. Because you always just take it down this hill. I mean, I do sometimes too, but you almost <sighs> guaranteed to take it down the hill. <laughs> You're... Anyway, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>